Oh, hey, music's live. I'm going to turn it down, actually. Um, cool, we're live. This is our first Facebook Live for the year. I actually still look and sound not particularly great, but fuck it, we are going to do this. Because quite frankly, I've been holding back for nine days, to be precise. Like, I've had, or I have, epic plans for 2017 and getting sick on the first uh, was not what I planned and anticipated, but that's okay. So if you're in our group and you want to hang out live, I'm going to give you a minute or two to hang out. Uh, we're going to talk about identity training today. So this is particularly amazingly important if you're truly ready to create more impact this year, more freedom, and of course, looking to turn up the heat when it comes to living your uh, badass VIP lifestyle. So if that is of interest to you, you want more of that, more impact, more lifestyle, more freedom. I'm going to just adjust my little hair here because I do, um, I am a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to hair um, and already feel like shit anyway. Uh, but if it, if it is important of importance to you, then definitely you want to hang out and make sure you let yourself know. Uh, make sure you say hi, where are you tuning in from so we know what badasses from around, from around the world are tuning in. Um, and I'm going to just head over to a group. I don't think you can actually share from a group into anywhere else, can you? I don't know. I'm trying to figure this shit out at times, but I don't think you can. I can like it and I can comment it, but I can't share it in other groups. So that's cool. Anyway, so I might just share it later. So before we kick off, Happy fucking new year to everybody. Um, I hope you had an amazing start into the year. Of course, you know, the, the beginning of the year is always super exciting because, you know, we've kind of been giving like a, a clean slate, a fresh start to, to start all over. Now, the starting all over for you means obviously really looking at what's been working for you last year. Uh, where have you had some epic successes and where do you feel like you've been still been playing small? Like where do you feel like you can still step up where there is more impact to make, to be made, um, more freedom to create. And then of course, more, more of an abundance when it comes to be, when it comes to living your VIP badass lifestyle, right? This has really annoyed me. So I'm going to put it away. I know I'm such a, uh, OCD bitch when it comes to my hair. <laughs> Um, cool. So with that in mind, like give us a thumbs up if you're truly like excited about making 2017 super epic. If you're definitely ready to like step up to the plate to, you know, to conquer the unknown territory, which is part of my theme this year, then definitely give me some thumbs up, some love, you know, get this energy started. Um, and I want to share with you, you know, a really crucial part of of how you're going to make sure that you're definitely lining yourself up for success. If you read one of my um, my blogs uh, in the last few days, I wrote about how you can truly actually create um, success or how you can make sure that your New Year's resolutions turn into bulletproof success um, by, you know, not just making them some flaky shoulda, woulda, coulda New Year's resolutions of things that you should be giving up or should be doing, should stop doing or should start doing because what happens as Tony Robbins says, we shoulda, woulda, coulda all over ourselves, but nothing actually happens. So really my, um, my approach to that was, what if you were to think about um, not just like change as such, um, you know, thinking about this massive change that you're wanting to create, which sometimes can feel really overwhelming and a bit scary thinking about all the things that you're looking to create, uh, to make happen and to become. What if you were to stop thinking uh, of change as such and actually just looked at progress? So really thinking about, hey, you know what, to be honest with you, 2016 has been there has to be some great things. It's been great in some areas. Um, I've made some leaps and bounds in some things. And now it's about making more progress, you know, to evolve more, to grow more, to make a massive leap. You know, it doesn't have to mean about completely changing who the fuck you are. Uh, and also bearing in mind that change is automatic anyway. So there's going to be some change that are going to be out of control, out of our control, right? Think of the weather, think of the economic, think of things that are happening that are up to other people that you certainly can't control. So with that in mind, change is inevitable. Change is going to happen anyway. You're going to change anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you're... Your responsibility really is about 
uh, deciding what path, you know, on what path you wanting to change into, right? Um, or, you know, you know what I mean? And at what rate you want to change. So you get to decide the path and the speed of rate that you're going to change and evolve and make progress. And we're doing that by progress, right? So I feel that that's really a cool thing to bear in mind. Um, and as I said in my blog, I've given you some like five things to think about in terms of creating a theme. So if we're looking at, you know, if we're looking at creating um, more progress this year, right? Elevating, stepping up, leaping, um, you know, into... Sorry, my phone just rang. Why does my phone have to ring when I'm doing a Facebook Live? Um, so if we're thinking about like progress as such as leaping, growing, evolving, um, and therefore making it more of a um, a a long term commitment, right? A long term commitment rather than just like a like a latest trend, okay? If that is the case, then I would urge you, if you haven't done so already, to really think about creating a theme, all right? A theme for the year. And uh, I'm not going to go through the exact details, but make sure you read that blog because actually I've got some other content for you. But I do feel that that theme is going to give us the baseline of then, you know, applying the exercise that I've got for you in store today. So a theme is really about, you know, deciding what's the longevity of the progress that you're looking to make. What is the theme, like the, the tone of this year that you're really com committing yourself to? Um, you know, what are the values that you're going to stand for? Um, what do you need to stop believing, start believing? How are you going to show up? Uh, what are your boundaries and so forth? There's, so there's a lot to think about. But your theme could be, um, you know, just getting it done, or it could be acting, um, you know, with ease, like ease and grace. So everything that you do comes from a place of ease and grace and flow. Or it could be a uh, badass, like being a rebel. Maybe this year you're all about like pushing the boundaries and, um, you know, standing in your own power. If it, even if it means uh, not everyone's going to be on board with you, but you're literally like hashtag no fuck given. I'm going to stand my ground anyway because this is who I am. This is the message that I want to share with the world. Uh, for me, um, I do apologize if I'm doing a little bit of a sniffles and stuff. But <laughs> for me, this theme, this year the theme is about uh, courage to conquer, right? So having the courage to conquer the unknown territory, really giving myself permission um, to create all that I wanted, you know, that I want to create this year. Um, and therefore, for me, it's about being relentless, um, being a persistent <laughs> little mofo, and uh, just getting it done. Okay, so these are like the three words that kind of define my theme. So if you haven't done that, and if you find that that's a cool little thing to do, most definitely, I would get you to really spend, you know, um, I don't know, a few hours, a day, a day and a half, a couple of days, three days to really sit in with what the, what's the theme that you're wanting to, you know, to own for this year. Um, and, and I say spend some time really thinking about it because it's not just like, oh, you know what, being a badass sounds really cool or, you know, just getting it done sounds really cool. It's about more than that. It's about actually what that theme then represents to you, right? Thinking about values and boundaries and beliefs and actions and alignment and, you know, then obviously goals. What does that represent? What do you want to grow into? Um, so there's a little bit of time to think of it and then obviously making a, a vision board and all that sort of stuff. So that's the first part of what I want to share with you today. If you think that that's really like awesome, if you think that you want to create a theme for yourself, then give me some thumbs up. I love the fact that you're already definitely pumped for 2017. Um, and I hear you. So with that in mind, let's talk about, you know, identity in terms of success, right? I've actually got some notes because this is um, part of my Part of one of my trainings, um, an exercise that I'm doing with my badasses, and I, I thought it, it'd be really cool to actually share it with you um, for free because you're part of my tribe, right? Um, with that in mind, if you haven't seen um, on my my private wall, I've made an announcement uh, a couple of times now to say that really one of my intentions this year is to move all this sort of cool training into our tribe, right? This is a free group. We've got over 1,600 badasses, but we really need to amp the interaction up. We really need you to step up, 
to be heard, to be seen, uh, to make the most of the conversations that we're having. And so my intention and my thought behind it was, if I move everything into this group, I know that what I'm saying is, is for you, like it's aligned to you because you're my tribe, right? Like you met, you, we're one, we, you know, we, we speak the same language, we, we drift the same vibe, we've got the same intentions and visions and outcomes, obviously individually differently, but we're all here because we want to share the message, but you know, we want to create a brand by being ourselves. We want to unleash from within, make a massive fucking impact, be a badass, own being a badass, live the badass VIP lifestyle, make, you know, like I said, impact, freedom, lifestyle are massively important to us. And we understand that success is not about how much you do. It is all about who you are. So with my intention, um, and you know, this is my intention putting out to the universe is, you know, making sure that we start filtering more people into this group. We're going to grow this group. We're going to make sure that we have lots of, you know, like minded badasses in this group. And anyone that doesn't align with our message has obviously the freedom to, to leave this group at any time. Right. Um, and therefore we're going to attract more. We're going to create more energy for more like-minded badasses. And this is where it's going to go down. This is literally the free hub, the inner circle where lots of free training is going on. And then what I'm looking to create over the next couple of months, hint, hint, is I'm creating a, a tribe of limitless badass leaders. All right. So that's another topic anyway, but this is just my intention. So I'm hoping for you guys to show up more with volition to to make sure that you you know tune into the live trainings i'm obviously going to make sure that i do them at different times it's hard to plan for these things um knowing that people obviously all over the world but i will do different times here day times night times to make sure i catch as many as i can live and obviously you got a chance to watch them over and over again and you know make sure that you comment at them whether you watch them live or whether you watch them later um so that's my intention for the group anyway so Oh, let me breathe. <coughs> Sorry. With that in mind, right, I'm going to give you some cool, juicy training on identity. Now, you understand that um, success is not about how much you do. It is all about who you are, okay? Totally, like, I'm not saying you can just sit there and manifest and be really good at visualizing, uh, you know, the, the future that you're looking to create, the results that you're looking to create, <coughs> who you are being, as that limitless badass leader, you still got to hustle. Having said that, the best strategy, you know, and the the copious amounts of hustle, the hours that you dedicate, all the actions that you do, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. They don't matter. It don't matter. Whatever. That's very, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. They don't matter whatever accent you want right now. <laughs> if you're not actually being aligned to the identity. If you're not truly, 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 truly embodying what it means to you to be a, a limitless badass leader, a badass leader who leads with authenticity, who claims authority, and who chooses to live in abundance, right? Because you, everything about you comes from a place of alignment. That means your business comes from a place of alignment because your business is an extension of you, right? So you get that. If you want to have more and do more and create more. It comes from you being more. And that means that your identity is fucking key when it comes to creating success this year. So with that in mind, I'm going to talk you through this three steps that you need to do in order to truly step into the identity, excuse me, of being a badass leader. Now, First of all, obviously, you need to know what it is that you're wanting to create. But I'd imagine that you've got some goals. You've got some goals when it comes to your health and fitness. You've got some goals when it comes to business, when it comes to impact, freedom, lifestyle, relationships, travel, fun, adventure, you name it. Now, then it's going to be coming about stepping to the identity. So the first thing is, I want you to really think about who you want to be. Like when you think of being a, a badass leader, like being an authentic badass, being completely limitless, like who do you want to be? What are you going to stand for? And what are you going to believe on a consistent basis, right? I'm reading up my notes. This is like some of my training, which is really cool. And I don't usually do a lot of notes, but because I'm still a bit brain foggy and been sick, I want to make sure I actually deliver it as good as I can and give you truly the questions that you can then work on, right? So 
and think about, like I said, think about the identity that you want to step into, what it means to you to be an authentic badass, right? To be a badass leader that is completely limitless. So the first thing I need you to do is make a list of all the attributes and character traits, as well as values that you see yourself um, stepping into, all right? So think about attributes, character traits, and values that make up you as an identity, all right, if you get that, you might want to note that down somewhere, or you can obviously watch that video later on again, then do that. So that's step one. Hey, Charlotte, by the way. Hey, Steph. I'd imagine you're soaking up the heat on the Gold Coast while I'm freezing up my, freezing my ass off. Hey, Amy. Hey, Kat. Nice to see lots of Aussies and my American friends on here. Um, lots of Germans are probably going to be filtering into my German group because I've kicked that off. So Germans don't have to get confused and trying to understand, um, you know, what I say in English. So I actually uh, got a German group, so which is cool. So we're kind of doing a little bit of separation, but more global domination at the same time. So step one, right? It's about attributes, character traits, and values that make up your badass identity, right? Now, you will obviously have a long a long list, right? Definitely. So with that in mind, here's the next step. How do you um how do you truly how do you know, right, that you are now being this person, right? So think about who are you being, acting, how are you acting, how are you thinking, what are you believing in that new identity and believe it to be true, right? So it's really about <coughs> What is the evidence of you living into that identity? And also, like, if you're if you're struggling with that first part, if you're sort of like going, hey, you know what? I don't really know all the character traits and values um, that I want to make, like, that I want this new badass identity to be about. A really good way to start is actually make a list of everything that you're doing right now um that is not serving you like how are you i don't know perhaps self-sabotaging yourself or how you how have you been procrastinating what have you been doing um in 2016 you know how have you been showing up uh that you go actually that's been a complete waste of energy time resource what have you not okay and i've been actually committing um I've been not committing the opposite. I've been not been getting my results because of the way I've been showing up. So if you struggle with that, make a list of all the things that you don't like about yourself, I guess as such, or, you know, what are the parts of you that you're committed to choose to, to give up in order to install new parts, if that makes sense. Yes. Okay. So step one, describe all the attributes. Number two, it's about creating evidence, right? So it's about how do you know exactly that you're being, acting, thinking, and believing as a limitless, badass leader? Where's the evidence? In other words, how are you going to live according to that? So here's some elements as well that you can like work through the list. Number one, what would you see and notice differently? Number two, what would you hear differently or start to pick up or no longer listen to. That's really important, right? Think about people's bitchiness, lack of like draining energy, you know, vampires, but also you own in the talk. Um, how are you, number three, how are you going to feel differently? And what feelings would you allow to let shine or no longer feel? And number four, what would you say to yourself? So think about the new beliefs and affirmations that you're, um, you know, that's going to be your proof in a pudding. Right? What are the new sets of beliefs that you're truly committing to believing? Because we know that beliefs are just a made up assumption and they're only true if you believe them to be true, right? And that is cool, which means that you can definitely change them at any time. So think about the way you've been showing up. Think about the things that you've been doing um, that you say this year, do you know what? Actually, if I want to create more impact, more freedom, more lifestyle, um, it is about becoming the best version of myself. It is truly about you know, stepping into being more of a badass, you know, perhaps a bit more leadership, becoming truly limitless, right? Like feeling that whatever I, whatever I want to create, I can create if I give myself permission to step into being the best version of myself and therefore we're going to define that person. Hey, Donna. So we're going to define that person. So number one, we're going to make a list of values, attributes, character traits that we're now looking to embody. 
<coughs> and therefore perhaps noticing that what it's time to let go of. Number two, we're looking to create some evidence. So how do we know that we're now going to live as that badass leader, right? What are we going to see differently and notice differently? What are we going to hear differently? Start picking up or stop not like what are we not going to listen to anymore? Uh, how are we going to feel differently? What kind what kind of feelings are we going to let shine? Uh, what are we going to embody? How are we going how are we going to carry ourselves? But it's really about every single aspect of ourselves, right? Like how are you going to carry yourself? Um, what sort of words would you stop, you know, stop saying? What sort of words would you choose to say? Um, how would you show up amongst your friends, your peers, your colleagues, your family? You know, how energetically are you perhaps going to make a decision that some people are no longer going to have effect on you, right? Like there's going to be people perhaps that still don't believe that you're going to achieve your business goals or that what you're doing is crazy or the way that you're showing up is crazy or, you know, investing money into business mentors before you hit a certain income level is crazy. Like all the things that I've had come at me. Um, so that could be part of the evidence as well, right? Hi, Nesco. Hey, beautiful. Um, so that's step two. If you're still with me, totally, you might want to just scribble a few notes um, and you're good to go. But obviously, you're going to have to do this in your own time, right? Oh, let me breathe because my nose is blogging up at times. Yeah. I hate being sick, honestly. This is like the sickest I have been in like at least four years. And <coughs> it's only because I ran out on my magic beans and combined this with like lots of poor choices when it comes to food and drinking over Christmas and obviously the cold weather and being in and out. Um, this is what you get. So anyway, but I use this as a beautiful detox to really, you know, clear, cull, cleanse, not just beliefs, thoughts, feelings, also my body. And uh, it's obviously being a massive reminder just how important your health is because you got no health, you got jack shit. You can have a million dollars in the bank, but if you got no health, you got fuck all. Okay. Um, so there you go. So the two steps are done. Now then there's a third step, right? So if you're looking at, you know, stepping into being a limitless badass leader, uh, who is here to make a massive impact, uh, to create freedom, lifestyle freedom, but also who's choosing to live their own badass VIP, VIP lifestyle, then we, you know, it's about making identity shift. Now think of what you're doing right now. So look at, you know, what are some of the patterns? the behaviors, uh, things that you do that actually don't match your new identity, okay? So if you're looking at creating more of an impact, you know, being a healthier version of yourself, then obviously, like, ordering takeout is not going to be serving you. So if that is a, a pattern that you do, a behavior that you do, that you notice that you're not actually dedicating enough time, um, you know, to prepare beautiful, nourishing, whole food um, experiences for your body, but you're too quick to do the easy choice and order food or grab, you know, grab some um, takeaway or fast food, whatever you want to call it in whatever fucking country you are, uh, then perhaps it's one of the patterns you need to let go. So maybe it's time to dedicate yourself to being organized when it comes to the kitchen. And it doesn't have to be hard, but if you need advice, hey, it's one of my themes for this year, whoops, to get back um, to my roots. So I can certainly let you know. Um, but then... <coughs> oh, sorry. Whilst that's like external stuff, and you could certainly make a list of all the things that, you know, that you've been doing as a consequence of the identity that you were in 2016, that you're now letting go, that you're now progressing into a newer version 2.0 in 2017. Certainly you can look outside of yourself at some of the patterns and things that you've been doing that you know it's time to stop doing or to change and, um, you know, moderate, to alter, to alter, alter, to alter, to, you know, to do them differently. Um, but I also need you to look obviously inside, right? This whole conversation is about stepping into identity, making an identity shift, right? So therefore, I want you to look at, 
um, the conversation that goes on between you, between your ears. Okay. So what are some of the things that you're currently saying to yourself when you're looking to create, you know, step outside your comfort zone, or perhaps you notice a pattern where, you know, you go good, you're doing well. Hey, Rach, you're doing well for a period of time. And then you're getting some results and then you'll find a way to self-sabotage yourself. If anyone's done that one before, yes, of course, show your hands. We've all done that before. So perhaps a pattern is exactly that. And therefore, we need to reverse it. Re reverse it. We need to change that. So what if you were to come up, you know, with new statements, new beliefs, new affirmations that are going to help you move forward, right? So make a note, first of all, make a note of everything that you know that you're doing. Perhaps it's also just actually giving you um, a bit of time over the next few days to have a bit more self-awareness. Maybe you've actually not been paying a lot of attention to what it is that you're actually doing. You just kind of fucking do things and then wonder why, sorry, you're not getting the desired outcomes that you want. So make a list of all the patterns, all the things that you say to yourself, all the things um, or, you know, all the ways that you're stopping yourself from going all the way in, from showing all the way up, right? Um, and make a list of it and then think of how can you turn that around? Is it about, you know, making you... Um, affirmations, I am statements. Is it about really doing some, you know, a major internal upgrade and change your belief system, right? So for example, if you were to someone, if you are someone who knows that you're really good at getting some results and then after a while you find a way to sneakily, unconsciously self-sabotage yourself, then perhaps it's about, you know, implementing a new statement to say that, you know, I keep on going whether things are going good or going well, or I choose to keep going even when things are going well, or, you know, I choose to turn up the heat when things are going well, or I choose to accelerate, um, you know, the, the, uh, the pedal to the metal when things are going great. It's up to you. But I think the third major part is you really doing an internal upgrade, sorry, a change of your belief system to make sure that you match up to the new identity, right? If that makes sense, give me a thumbs up. I'll do a little recap um, and then I'm going to let you go because I really need to blow my nose and I don't want to do that to you. Um, hey, Rach. Hey, hey, happy new year. Late to the party. However, I'm here. That's it. Happy new year to you too, my friend. It's going to be an epic one. I actually want to chat to you to see how the five-day challenge has been for you. Um, and... Uh, and uh, yeah, and also like make sure that you tune in to heal a bit more. I kind of set the intention and I was talking about before that pretty much I'm going to do more trainings in this group because I feel like it's going to give you permission to be vulnerable, to show up, to comment. Whereas if I do it on my on my private wall, we're going to have like anyone and everyone of my million friends and connections around the world. And perhaps I might not give you, might not make you feel as confident to do so. So we're going to shift this and therefore we're going to filter out in this group who doesn't want to vibe with us, but also give you permission to add more people who do vibe with us and who really want to step into being a badass leader. Um, so yes, so do a little recap and then I'm going to let you go for today unless you've got some questions. So Remember, success is not about how much you do. You can have the best strategy in the fucking world. You can invest lots of money in the best mentors. Um, learn about any sorts of strategy, whether it's in business, in life, in fitness, and whatsoever, what have you not. It is truly about you, right? Success is not about how much you do. It's all about who you are. So therefore, we've talked about not just creating a theme, but we've talked about really... Um, changing your identity, you know, giving yourself a bit of a, a, a boot, a boot up <laughs> or a kick up the butt or a reboot into a badass version 2.0. And how do you create that new identity? We talked about three steps. Number one, you know, describing it to a T in terms of attributes, character traits and values. Um, if you stuck on creating a fuck long, like a fuck long list or a very long list, uh, think about all the things that you've been doing in 2016 and previously that you honestly feel it's time to let go of and convert into something that is more resourceful and that is actually going to help you create more impact, have more freedom and live your own badass lifestyle, being the best version. And that is physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, right? 
Number two, we looked at, well, what do you need to see going on in your world? That is going to be evidence that, fuck yes, we've made this upgrade. So we looked at, you know, what are you going to see differently, notice differently? What are you going to say to yourself differently? What are you going to, you know, stop hearing, start paying more attention to? You know, maybe it's time to let go of some people in your environment. You know, maybe it's time to create and upgrade your environment because let's face it, you are the average of the five people you hang out with and environment is super important. And we're going to definitely do some more talk about that in upcoming trainings. Um, and then thirdly, we looked at, you know, what is the, what is the system upgrade that you need to make in terms of your inner world, your inner belief systems, your values, what are you currently, you know, um, what are you currently thinking and feeling, uh, which is going to determine the way that you show up, what you're going to say, and, and basically it's going to create behaviors um, and parts of your identity. So think about, you know, what is not working for you, where do you need to make a systems upgrade, and where can you start doing that by, you know, I am statements, you know, going back to do some journaling, um, and some mindset work. And why is that really important? It, it is because truly, you know, if I'm really honest, like what is the thing that I want to teach you this year? It is about obviously having more confidence and more success, right? It is truly about um, <coughs> teaching you how to just fucking own it, your business, your body, and being a badass. And that means, you know, lifestyle relationships, starting with the one that you have with yourself. It is really about teaching you that, I believe that there, there is a limitless badass leader within you um, who's ready to claim the spot at the top of your game and have it all on your own terms, hashtag no fuck given. I truly believe that. I truly, I truly believe that you can create a life for you that gives you everything that you truly desire at the deepest, deepest level. You know, whether that's, you know, like I said, lifestyle, freedom, impact, you know, being the best version and you can design it. You can, you can, you know, you can be a mom and you can still be a hustler. You can be in a relationship and you can still travel the world to, you know, to stand on stage and speak and share your message. You can have it all. You just got to have the balls, you know, to create it and, 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 you know, step into being a badass leader who basically says, you know, fuck it. I'm going to design my own rules hashtag no forgiven and if people don't bite with me or don't agree with me or don't um you know don't believe I can do it that that's cool and and I choose to leave them where they're at I think it's really 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 about like if I can give you like one thing that I want you to take away today but also for the rest of the year <coughs> sorry hey Susanna it's about really fucking giving yourself permission to be who the fuck you are because you are exactly who you need to be like there is everything within you you have everything within you it is just about peeling back all the things that no longer serve you you know it's truly stepping into that badass leader that you are and i've given you some like key points to start that journey because knowing that when you step into that and you own it with all of your DNA, right? All of your being from the inside out. That's when you can truly create any success that you want. And it doesn't matter what it means to you, whether it's, you know, rocking your family life, rocking your relationships, you know, rocking, uh, rocking your health and fitness goals, whatever it is, like whether you want to go all out, whether you want to like whatever, go, or basically whatever going all out means to you. And to me this year, I'm truly going to help you create that success. I'm going to give you that, you know, that authentic confidence to create that success on your own terms. Um, and a lot of it's going to be mindset work. Okay. Because at the end of the day, it is all about mindset. You know that you do know that, but of course I'm going to like add different little flavors to it. Um, and we're going to look at at your business and branding because <coughs> this has been something that's just kind of evolved last year that because I've been I'm not even going to say lucky just because I've known how to create a successful business twice over now or run two successful businesses of course like I've learned a few things I've invested lots of money time energy resources and mentors so I learned lots of strategies and that sort of stuff in terms of branding but I also know it's about at the end of the day, I'm getting paid for being me and I want to show you the same. So it's really about teaching you how to create your own brand, how to create your own business and understand that your business is actually a vehicle of your higher purpose. And if you give yourself permission to be a badass leader, then you can create a brand around that and you can sell any 
any anything that you want, you know, whatever product or services, um, as long as you stay true to your message and do it all with ease and flow and grace, right? Because it's all coming from alignment. Remember, these are like the key foundations of being a badass leader. Um, and also, right, I'm going to do this through health and fitness, right? Being a, a, um, a, like an authentic body badass, whatever you want to call it, or, you know, to get your badass body and fitness back, because I honestly will admit that 2016 has probably been the most unhealthiest year for me. Um, I'm going to have to blow my nose. I do apologize. It, it literally was the most unhealthiest year for me. I will admit that. Um, and I could have lots of excuses like traveling, and not having like access to the kitchen and the gym as and I how I wanted. Uh I could blame, you know, having a relationship um and being very comfortable because it's nice to go out for dinners and to cook together and drink wine together. I could have all those excuses and partially they are true. Um but also partially it's about claiming that ownership back. And so therefore I'm going back to my roots because it is who uh you know what I know and who I am. So there's going to be a lot of um, you know, business branding, body, and then of course, badassery. Badassery just means um, you owning you, you, you know, stepping into being a limitless uh, badass leader, but also having amazingly or rocking relationships, starting with the one that you have with yourself, right? So on that note, bear with me. I'm sorry, but you know, this is about being authentic and I didn't do it in your face <laughs> but I got it I had to blow my nose um so with that in mind here's to an epic 2017 right I'm super excited to really grow, grow this tribe um and as I said I'm creating another tribe um for the ones that are like super fucking committed to step up and invest in themselves but there's going to be shitloads of content lots of fun lots of energy in this group so make sure that if you know anyone that wants to hang out with us, invite them to our group, just go to the top right corner and add them and I can personally welcome them. Um, if you got some value out of the training today, then um, make sure that you give me some love, give me some thumbs up. Obviously, love is much better because we all love to be validated. Um, uh, thanks, Deb. What a trooper. Yes, like I had to just do it. <laughs> I really needed to do this live today because I've been itching, itching to share some like awesome content and message and just create some epicness with you um, because of, you know, how committed I am this year. And so you're definitely going to see more of me. You're going to hear more of me. Um, there's going to be amazingly shitloads of content coming at you. Um, I've invested in some awesome mentors who definitely... Um, are not cheap, but they're so worth it. And they're going to help me to elevate myself, my business, my badass lifestyle, all of that to the next level. So I've got lots of cool things to share with you on that as well. Um, what else can I say with you? If you want to, if you want to like dig a little deeper, I am running a workshop on Thursday. So three days, right? Thursday, the 12th of January, um, around about the same time that I started. So around about like 45 minutes to an hour ago. Um, if you can't be there live, it doesn't matter. <coughs> We're going to record it. It's basically going to be about a 90 day workshop, 90 minute, 90 day, 90 day. It's a 90 minute workshop on business branding and badassery. So if you are in business and you feel like you want to press play a little bit more. You want to step up a little bit more. You want to dominate and step into, you know, creating more badassery for yourself and your business. That means you want more impact, more freedom, more lifestyle. You want to make more bank, right? Make more money as a byproduct of making more impact, aka sharing your message with more people, helping more people, um, and you do realize that your business is an extension of you, then this workshop could be totally up your alley. So we're really going to look at, you know, how to uncover your message, um, how to realize that, you know, your business truly is a vehicle of your higher purpose. We're going to look at how to create um, a brand and unleash your authentic voice from within. And we're going to do a little bit more training around, um, setting yourself up for success in terms of stepping into the identity. So we're going to do, uh, you know, kind of what we did today, but on a deeper level, I'm going to share with you some of my uh, success formulas, um, you know, and it's going to be really epic. So if you want to do that, you want to be part of the training, then let me know. Just, you know, give me a hell yes, and I'll send you a link and you can actually read more about it. It is going down this Thursday. Like I said, if you can't be there live, I'm going to record it. Um, it is going to be $77. So it's nothing 
really in terms of financial investment. You will, however, as a bonus, get um, a private, like a one-on-one -on -one follow up session with myself, uh, which is priceless, right? Like I charge you know, $50 for like a one-off session. So my prices are definitely more than $77. So um, you're going to get the workshop and a follow up one-on-one -on -one badassery session with myself to make sure that whatever you learn in the workshop, you're actually going to implement and I can help you give you a little bit more insight and magic into your own uh, business strategy and identity stuff. Um, so that you truly are going to accelerate and rock, yeah, the next month, months, year. <coughs> so, like I said, <coughs> it is time probably to get off because I'm going to get another coughing fit. So with that in mind, if you want to be part of it, comment, hell yes, let me know. I'm going to be showing up again later today, tomorrow, who knows. And uh, like I said, if you found this training valuable, add some people to the group and tag them into this training so they can get the benefit of it as well. Um, apart from that, much love. It's been amazing hanging out despite everything. I'm so excited to hang out with you over the next few days, weeks, months and make 2017 the most epic, badass year of your life. Hashtag yet because the best is always yet to come. All right. Until then. Bye.